Hello. Mm, here we go. Okay, today I'm gonna show how I transfer this image, the standalone image, onto this block. I easy cut uh, lino block or something like that. I'll look it up and have it here. Here or here. I'll have it here. A picture of where I got it. So you line up. What I do first is I trace the outline of the image of the block onto the paper, just regular pa uh, printer paper. Then I do my image, I do my sketch, and then I do line it back up. So I find the edge, I typically find the edge first so that I know where all I'm going to be do my transfer. And then I do a, um, just a regular pencil. I did this sketch in a mechanical pencil, but the like a regular lead pencil will, will do. And then you just go over the entire image. I don't think I went that high, but I'll give it all. And you wanna do a pretty heavy pressure. And you can see that the image is already starting to transfer. And you want to be holding it down so that it's not slipping around. And when you hold it down, then you can flip it over to make sure that you're getting all of the areas that you want to get. Moving my fingers down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the entire image because you can go over it, back over it with pencil once you're done. Unless you have a really extremely detailed piece, then you may want to spend as much time doing this as possible. My piece is not especially detailed. I can fill in the blanks. again pull back make sure I got most of it I think that I did there's some area in this corner that I know that I'm lacking so I'm gonna go back over some of this detail okay looks pretty good I got everything I went off a little bit here so I'm just gonna make sure that it stays within this corner you don't have to do it you can have it go off I have the root go off. Dandelions have a rather large um, tap root, deep tap root for the size of the plant. But I can't really show all of that in this relatively small block. So I will try to get as much of it as I can. And I'm just going over, I don't even have to do this part at all because I'm just, I, can, I can get started carving. I can see it well enough. And then this is the opposite, the reflection of this piece here. So when I go to print it, I will turn it over I will carve this first and then I will print it and it will be the right side. So that's how I do um, my transfers. I even have another video on this same method when doing my bunny and deer class. It shows how to paint 
fully paint a deer and a rabbit but I thought I would reiterate this important method because um, that was for painting and this is for block printing, which is a little bit different. It's the same exact method, but you will be using the, um, the reflection of the image as opposed to the exact, um, exact image. So if I wanted to do the exact image on a painting, I would do this kind of cross hatching on the back and then go over it. And then that will create the exact um, design. But then when you go to, f if you were going to do a black print, when you go to flip it over, then it will be the opposite. So it would look more like this. And there's something about drawing. I, there's probably some um, theory on this, but even this kind of made up dandelion that even though it's just kind of an organic illustration, if I were to, to have it this way, the way that it is right now, it looks backwards to me. It's bizarre. So I'm just giving myself a little bit of a basic line help here. The reason I'm doing a dandelion is because they, many consider them bees, bees, weeds, to be weeds. Um, they are excellent um, providers of nutrients from down below in the ground. They bring it up to the surface and they dye the surface, leaving the um, nutrients uh, gathered from underground at the surface more um, attainable for other plants. They hold the ground together. They've got really deep tap roots and they're beautiful, they're great bee forage and, and other pollinators. And this was one of the prompts for um, Furry Little Peaches, Peachtober. There we go. So now I can get carving. I'm losing a little daylight, but that's okay. So I have two, actually have three of these speedball carvers so right now I have a, a size one and a size two this is kind of more of a V I guess they both are they're both more of a V they have they come with like a storage space for the other carving ends but I'm just gonna do whatever this um, block is it's different than the ones that I normally use which are this is just an off cut, but they're more, the ones that I usually use are these pink ones and I like the flexibility of them and they have more of like an eraser kind of feel to them. This is more like a linoleum tile. It's harder to carve in my opinion, just because it doesn't have a lot of give so if you slip it all pardon my shakiness if you slip it all which I sometimes end up doing then it's ruined where I feel like the other one it doesn't slip nearly as much so I try to do more straight lines in this um, with this kind of block I'm not really following my own rules, but you're supposed to face away from your other hand. So 
so move it as as you carve, I guess. So this definitely takes practice. You gotta figure out how best to maneuver to get in those angles. It's similar to wood burning. I haven't done wood, wood burning in so long, but it's similar in that you want to move it as you go. So it's because it's kind of a rigid line. And then you also want to be very um, precise in your movement because if you mess up on here then it's done basically you can't uncarve it and then also if you when wood burning if you mess up on that you can't unburn it so it's a little bit more see like there I slid a little bit but because of this kind of organic shape, I went beyond where my point was. I can just make a new point here. And it really doesn't affect the design much. I get nervous at the beginning of a block making a block and then I get more into the swing of how it's supposed to go I feel like the farther back I go the less control I have so I try to get in close on this type of block my other block I can get a little a little bit more of the base in the palm of my hand but because of the rigidness of this type of block, I like to have a little bit better control. It's very much a, a thoughtful thing. You have to be very mindful of your positions. Whereas with the paintings that I do, especially the abstract works, are way more intuitive and less. I, I can be less in control. I'm trying to go one way, so I did that curvy line that way, and then to meet that line there, I'm going to start up there. Okay, so I did the whole outline of these two leaves. So now I'm gonna start on this one. won't get to testing it tonight, especially since my kids are coming in. What can I draw call me out? This is a dandelion. Ooh. I like it. Thanks. You just Hey girl, come here. section Magoo. It's true you're not ready for that but you will be one day and guess who will be happy to show you 
how to do it when you're ready. You. Me. I sure will. I love my mommy. We hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.